Hey, what's up guys? Koba Cheese here for another Let's Play gameplay. This time I'm going to be playing some Rusty Hearts. And I am playing a character called Angela. And she's one of the three characters that you can currently play right now in the closed beta of Rusty Hearts. Right now I'm about to go into a dungeon and show you guys some of the gameplay. Let me uh, just repair my gear real quick. Make sure nothing breaks while I'm in there. And uh, let's take a look here. I'm going to actually use my, let's see, I think I'm going to use my sword this time. You can use sword and a scythe. Once you get level 10 in this game, you can use a second uh, weapon, which is pretty cool. And I'll just do some, okay, I can't grab that quest because I've got too many quests already. Not a big deal, but whatever. Let me see what quests I have. I think I've got to do some, like, i got to do a bunch of stuff. I don't really care. I just do stuff, right? It's like, just go kill things, and eventually you will finish these quests. Okay, so let's see. Um, i got to go to Cellar 2F and kill some Skeleton Federation dudes. Cafeteria 1F. Uh, cafeteria... Uh, cafeteria. There's a lot of stuff in the cafeteria. Let's do the cafeteria 1F. Yeah, sounds like a plan, man. All right, what do we got here? Cafeteria 1F. So that's level 12 to 15. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, we'll do it on... The hardest one I can do is hard, so... I guess I haven't made it to very hard yet. So anyways, uh, this one, once you unlock, like, normal, you can go to hard, and then you can go to very hard. But uh, I've already done this one once on normal. I'm just going to go ahead and do it on hard. And I'm going solo on this one, as I usually like to do. Not a big deal. And let's just see this one start up here. So, by the way, if you are curious about this game, I did do a review on rnrvhe.com. Uh, you can go to my website. I'll also probably put it in the description or the, or the annotation up above. But, but for now, we will uh, we'll go ahead and see if I can beat the crap out of this dungeon. I like this game. It's, it's a pretty cool little beat-em-up style game, and you get all these different abilities, and you can do cool stuff. And the PvP in it is really sweet, too. By the way, it is a free-to-play game, so you can, you can play it if you like, anytime. And I'm actually playing with my Xbox 360 controller, because it does have support for that. So it's sweet. All right, man. These dudes are like little maids, and they don't do anything. They just like stand there and take it. Let's see if I can remember all the spells. Okay, so I gotta push X to pick stuff up. I can roll around and stuff. All right. Anyways, here we go. Yeah, I don't like you, you little crazy little thing. Someone's underwear. I just chopped up someone's underwear drawer. I don't know why there's an underwear drawer there. Oh God! How dare you shoot at me? I will shoot you back. How's this sound? Oh yeah! Big fists in the face! Oh, I'll punch you in the face with my big fist from the ground. Yeah. Okay. I can shoot this little thing. It slows people down. Uh, and this game's all about doing some combos and stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's see, you can get some pretty big combos if you do it right, but I don't always do it right, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you some PvP later, but for now, this is pretty cool. All the dungeons, it's basically... Just go through, kick everything's butt, and then you can do a little boss at the end. I'm not sure if I even remember what the boss of this one is. It's, uh, like I said, I only did it once, and it was a while back. Oh, man, this is, a, this is one of the longer ones. Yeah, let's see, i got to clear this area in 10 minutes. I've only got 8 minutes left, so I'm going to try and do this as fast as possible. This is for one of my quests. Some of the quests are, like, achievement-based. you got to, like, do some pretty hard stuff. If you're not careful, it's not going to happen. Oh, what is this big dude? He's like, oh, God, oh, God, no! That dude looks big and mean and nasty. I will wreck him because I'm a boss. And he's not a boss. He's a mini boss. You know, I, I am like their boss. They have to beat me. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the boss that they can't beat. Like they keep. Oh god. I'll shoot a fireball at you. Fireball to the face! Ow! Oh, get some! Oh man, I just got shot with an arrow. Okay, let's get him. Boom, 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 boom. Man. Dude, you like that? You like that? I know you like that. Dude, I did like an air combo. And shot some virus stuff up. So, different abilities that you can do here. If you look at the very bottom, I'm, I try and use all my different yeah. abilities. There we go. I just buffed myself and gave myself extra health. Alright. Is it like a... It's supposed to be like a tiled chess table looking thing. Um, Alright, let's see. Need to go to the right. Oh, crap. I'm going to fight these guys first. Not a big deal. Let me see if I can get up. Actually, the cool thing to do with Angela is she's like... She's got this little... There we go. I can make this little tornado thing and get them all grouped up, and then I'll come wreck them. Oh, crap. Crap. Man, seriously? I had them all grouped up, and this dude shoots me a freaking arrow. I was going to mess those guys up. That is so uncool. That is rude. I mean, this guy was never taught manners, apparently. And that pisses me off, because I was going to mess them up. But that's okay, because I got this, yo. I got this. You know, like, when people don't have... Th what? There's no way they hit me. Oh, God. There's no way they hit me. I am so pissed. I will punch you in the face with a fist, but I missed. So, not very good, apparently. Can't even hit people with... The fist is actually kind of hard to hit with. You gotta... You gotta basically 
shoot it off as part of your combo. So what I'll do is I'll I'll do like two attacks, and then I'll shoot off my little firewall thingy. So one, two, and then I'll shoot the fist. Boom! And that hits them usually. See that doesn't block. Oh god. All right. So here we go. Let's try and use that. I just use random abilities in the middle of stuff. Sometimes it combos. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. When I go to PvP, what I'll do is I'll like kite stuff, but in PvE it's like I'm just gonna keep pressing X until everything's dead. Pretty pretty simple man. The you don't have to it's not too hard until you get to the bosses sometimes, like especially on the very hard because uh, they'll do stuff that like knocks you around, you gotta like block. And if you hold your block down, like see how it flash? Hang on. Well, it does it sometimes. See how it flashes? If you if you push that down right at the right time when someone's about to attack you, you'll like you'll like knock back their ability at them and reflect it, which is pretty cool. And um, that's really nice in PvP, and it's really nice in PvE if you can get a monster shoot a big spell at you and you block it at the right time, it'll actually hurt them instead. So it's pretty cool. Oh man, I missed. I don't like that fist, but it's really hard to hit. Oh, he's already dead. I was like, why isn't he dying? There we go. So you get these little augment pebbles. See those little red things? And they're cool because. You can uh, put them inside your weapons. I'll show you that later, but you can put them inside your weapons and like the more you can actually stack them. So you like stack these augment stones together and they go up to like plus 10, plus 11. The more you put together, oh look at this guy, he's like eating big chickens. Oh man, what is this? Hey, come on man. You better put, oh, that's a giant ball and chain you got there. You better put that down, you're gonna hurt someone. Hopefully not me. All right, anyways, you can put these augment stones together and make your weapons better. I'm trying to get a bunch of them together so I can make this sword like really awesome. Oh god. Oh no, I just walked right into it! Alright, that's fine. Alright, I'm gonna mess up the skill. I hate archers, dude. Archers are the most annoying thing in this game, I swear. So I just like kill the archers first and I don't have to worry about the rest. Actually, I don't even have to kill those guys, I forgot. The bosses in this game, if you kill the boss, it'll like destroy all the other monsters in the dungeon. So you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, you go ahead and swing that thing. It's not gonna hit me, because you're slow. You're slow, and I'm not slow, bro. Oh, I don't wanna hit that guy. Come on. Oh, shoot. Ow. I'm stunned. No! I'm stunned. Ow. Okay, seriously. Oh, man, I'm just pissed now. I'm gonna totally tear you up. I'm gonna rip your head off. And I'm gonna shove it down your. Okay. Hang on. Here goes. We got this. Oh, that was the wrong ability. He can't hit me from this far away. Can he? I don't think he can. One, two, combo, you, and get out. See, look at that, man. I got this. I got the, I got the combo down. I think he's dead. Did I get him? Hell yeah, I did. He's in my boss. Alright, let's see. So you pick up these little cards. You get these cards like every, every once in a while. It's pretty cool because they determine the loot that you get at the end of the dungeon. Which you'll see in just a second. As soon as this thing ends. Stage clear! What's up? Go be cheese! Alright. Oh, I got a D, man. I'm terrible at this game. Holy crap. Yeah, this is just like a uh, dragon nest and that you can get like double S, triple S, things like that. Oh, nice. So I picked up a gold card, I guess. Uh, basically, it's somewhere in this deck. It's random. I always click this one. So eventually, it'll be the right one. Oh, man. See, I didn't get the right one. So it's a thousand gold if you want to respin it. Hell no, I'm not going to respin it just to chance of getting a gold card because it could be anywhere it's uh, it's a lot better if if you pleasure chain belt what is that like some like porno thing anyways if you do it with a group of people then obviously they have a better chance of getting that item and then you can kind of swap around at the end but uh but yeah that's uh that's rusty hearts you got these cool dungeons and stuff like that if you guys want to check out some more of this game be sure to check out my review and my future episodes i'll be doing with some pvp and some other dungeons and stuff with other people so yeah take care guys see you later